First impressions are everything, so being an hour and a half late to a first date isn't ideal, like I was to my first date with Lee. Within the first hour, Lee asked me which car brand was my favorite. Not a typical inquiry, but I quickly said, that's such an easy answer. Porsche, of course. His reaction was priceless. He said, this is gonna work out just fine. And it has, for 15 years and counting. That night, we talked about our passion for Porsche since we were kids. It was uncanny how similar our stories were. My tardiness was becoming a faded memory. What we didn't realize that night was how deeply ingrained our love for all things Porsche would be in our relationship and how much it would affect our lives. At the time, I'd been shopping around for what would become my very first 911. On date nights, we'd often go to dinner and then straight to car lots to browse all the available 911s. Not every girl's dream date, but for me, it was perfect. Eventually, we moved in with each other and had a 1982 930 Turbo and my new 911 Cabriolet. Our desire was to build a classic 911 to our specifications, and in 2015, we found a disaster of a 911 begging to be restored. Almost two years later, we had our finished product. Every inch of the car had been discussed. Countless photos of steering wheels and color samples were exchanged over the two-year period. One room of our house was completely taken over by car parts, and we loved every minute of it. I sold my 911 to make room in the garage for our new and improved 1969 911T. The dreams haven't stopped, and the nights in the garage continue. There's just something about Porsche that stayed with us and doesn't seem to be going anywhere.